Hey darling, welcome back to my YouTube channel where everything is absolutely rainbow. I am Satems and today on this video, darling, we're going to be talking about something that is very soft but at the same time it is hard. It's destructive but also it has all the life in it and at the same time it's romantic, it's beautiful, it's just out there. If you're asking why the earrings, why the choker and why the stars and darling, my wings I think you have the answer I have to look like the freedom I'm talking about so that you get it you feel it you breathe it darling the thing about freedom is that it can feel so impossible and so possible at the same time as much as you can do what you want to do you also feel like you can't be life is very complicated and in its complication we can detangle the wires and separate them and put them out there so that you are able to deal with each department individually so that it's not complicated but how do you do that you define freedom so that you live a free life <laughs> Before we get into it, darling, 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 I have a question for you. Have you defined what freedom means to you? Or are you just cruising around, living life because nothing is actually disturbing your peace? Whichever one it is, I'm very curious and I'm sure other people that are watching this are just as curious. As you're scrolling down and you are typing and writing all those comments, don't forget if you're brand new on this channel, darling, forget to subscribe down below and click, and I click, and I click, and I click, and I click that bell button so that you can get your instant notifications whenever Sutems does upload. Also, one more thing, if you really, really, really want a shout out, all you gotta do is literally just take a screenshot of a moment and just share it on your Insta story. Don't forget to tag Sutems and boom, I get the message. Because freedom is a little bit spicy and a little bit delusional, we sometimes get caught into thinking about freedom. And the more thoughts we have of freedom, we think we're living it. So for me, the fact that you have so many I coulds in your head, like if I could or I could or I will, you're, you're thinking about the future a lot. And if that's happening, there's a cage there, darling. Think about today. Think about how can you access that kind of space where you can fill it up with Talking about cage, the cage is actually one of the most important things um, well, in my head because it is a visual representation of no freedom. So you can't have freedom, that's in my head, if there is no cage. So ideally you want to be quite conscious of the restrictions and then when you see the restriction, get out there, take control and live your life the way you want to live it or the way you know how. But I want to tell you a little bit of a story where defining freedom came about for me. I was a little boy, um, I was bullied like many queers, like they've made it a normal thing now. It is not normal and normalizing bullying of any sort is not nice and because I couldn't normalize it and for me it didn't make sense because I was like if I don't make sense of what's happening now when is it actually gonna stop because it's either I live with this bullying forever or I need to get <laughs> things done anyway <laughs> anyway the one thing that was very frustrating in my childhood it's not one thing it's just it's still frustrating today it's just that now people do it way less I was asked, why do you speak like this? Why do you walk like this? Why do you play with girls? Um, like I really don't understand anyone at all. If I'm not offending you and I'm not in your space and I'm not doing anything with you and we don't even, we not, what? And I'm leaving you there and you come to my bubble and burst it and then you still have your bubble all safe. Do you, I'm not sure if you know what you're doing. But it makes me so oh, angry. The whole reason I actually tell you the story was basically to kind of give you a picture. Oh uh, God, kind of, kind of give you a picture. Of the fact that I've always found myself in spaces where I had to explain what I'm all about and the whys I'm all about. And for me, it kind of felt frustrating a little bit because I, I, it, it, people were making fun of it. They were literally making fun of it. Hi, sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> um, people were making fun of it, but I realized that if I 
If I can walk into a space or approach any conversation or approach anything that comes my direction, not with an attitude that you are pointing me, you are coming to burst that bubble. It's not about me. It's always just ask myself, what is your problem? Why are you having problems with this department of my life anywhere? Um, freedom is crazy. I just wanted to share that I found myself in a lot of situations where I had to defend myself so many times in different situations and as you're doing that you start learning about the different problems as a little one growing up obviously and the people are not necessarily the problem you're not the problem no one is the problem nothing is ever the problem um it's just understanding your ego what you are about what it is that you're about where it is that you are about you can't obviously answer all those questions ever i still am feeling secure about them i sometimes very secure about them it really 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 differs the courage the people will feel it and they'll stop bothering you Think about freedom if it's anything, if it's anything in my head, it's not as flowery and as colorful as it is when you are approaching it. And at that moment, the moment where you feel the freedom usually is after when you've achieved that moment. So ideally, having to face a lot of things and being very courageous about it, I'm using that word again, because I, it's so weird. Whenever I think of freedom, I think of courage. Freedom, courage, because you can't be free if you were never bound. And if you were bound, you're going to require courage to get out of that. So, oh my God. Okay, but okay, darling. Okay, darling. Okay, darling. Okay, darling. Define freedom, please. Oh my gosh. In my head, when we have to define freedom or defining freedom, First of all, freedom exists in your head. When you see it and see it in your way and you're comfortable with it, happy with that, that's number one. Absolutely no compromises for no reason because this is your life. This is your time. Once you are gone, voila. So you cannot be giving anyone slack and any... For me also, freedom is just... Oh, like for me, freedom is also just being able to understand that I will do my very best to not focus on the conventional ways of being alive, but to see how differently I can do it. Being comfortable that it's going to be wrong and the wrong is not a bad thing. Wrong just means that you tried it and it didn't work. Freedom is getting out there and opening your world and knowing for sure that it's bigger than what you see, than what is, because freedom understands that imagination is life. One thing about freedom that you have to always be conscious about, always be conscious about, when you take freedom for yourself, enjoy it. But there's responsibilities. And I'm not saying they bow anything, it's just that with freedom comes a lot of new and uniqueness with you so you won't be understood. And going back to that story, don't feel bad for not being understood. And going back to Sitem's uh, the, ch the child, you will get questions. And Sitem's it's not to say you are not worth it, you're not enough. It's just to say that you don't or you're not doing it like everyone to say. And tell us why you're doing it like that. And it's something to celebrate. Actually, freedom is you. That is why Sitems is wearing her earrings today again. That is why we're wearing our choker and we are bedazzling ourselves a little bit. Um, because it's when you feel like you no longer have to explain, when you feel like you can be in a space and not feel like even if you did explain, anything has to change because the decision that you've made is just the right one for you and it's not affecting anyone. For me, that is when you can hold freedom, mwah, kiss her and say, we are here. Boom! Otherwise, thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really, really do appreciate your support. If you're brand new on this channel <coughs> and you're seeing this face for the very first time, welcome, darling.